Geometry lesson 1-6. Uh, first definition is vertical angles. Vertical angles are anytime the sides are formed from two, or the sides form two pairs of opposite rays. So in other words, this angle right here and this angle right here are considered vertical angles because the side here and the side here matches up to form an opposite ray here and an opposite ray here. If I were to use different colors, you would see that this ray is opposite of this ray, and this ray is opposite of that ray. So it forms two pairs of opposite rays. I like to think of them as kind of diagonal to each other rather than right next to each other. All right? They are going to be congruent, which means they're exactly the same. If I told you this was 40 degrees, you'd know that was 40 degrees. If I told you this was 90 degrees, that would be 90 degrees. Vertical angles are congruent. They're exactly the same. This particular set of vertical angles, there's actually a vertical angle here with this one here. So those two are the same. And these two are the same. So you have two pairs of vertical angles that are diagonal. They share a vertex, but they're not right next to each other, all right? Like, I would not say that these two are vertical angles. They still share this vertex, but this side and this side do not create the two sets of opposite rays. Now, the other situation we have is what's called a linear pair. Linear means straight or straight line. Pair meaning two. So we still have two angles, but when put together, they are forming this straight line right here. That is a straight line being formed by two angles put together. Now, definition-wise, it says they have non-common sides that are opposite rays. So this is the common side of the two angles. This would be a non-common side, and this would be a non-common side. And if you notice, it forms an opposite ray. Together, it's going to make 180 degrees. From here to here is 180 degrees, which we will refer to as supplementary. Supplementary means two angles that add together and makes exactly 180 degrees. All right, so this is a linear pair. If this line continued to go on through, then you would have vertical angles here, vertical angles here, but then you would also have a linear pair here. You'd have a linear pair here. And, maybe you don't realize it as much, but from here to here is a linear pair. And from here to here is a linear pair. So anytime two angles add together to form a straight line and are supplementary, we're dealing with a linear pair. Based on that information of recognizing how linear pairs work, that the two add together to make 180, or the vertical angles, that they're exactly the same, we're going to try to solve for x and y, and then after we've done that, find the value of these angles. So we have two lines that are crossing, which means, according to what we know, these two would be considered a linear, or excuse me, or vertical angles. These here and here are also vertical angles. They're diagonal from each other, cross from each other, they form opposite rays. These two are diagonal or opposite each other. Now we can't solve any kind of equation anytime we have different variables. So even though this angle matches up with this angle, the y isn't going to be very cooperative with that x. So I really can't use that too well. What I, I can do, though, is I can look at this and say, oh, there's a linear pair. This angle here and this angle here need to add together to form 180 degrees because they're supplementary. And the nice thing about combining these two angles together they both have the angle x. So 4x plus 15 plus the 5x plus 30 must equal 180 degrees because this angle plus this angle form a linear pair which is supplementary. You can now combine your like parts. 4x and 5x is 9x. 15 and 30 is 45 which equals 180. And from there, it's just the solving process. Subtract the 45 from both sides. And 
9x equals 135. Divide both sides by 9. And you have x equals, now 9 can go into 13 only once with 4 left over. So I'll put the 1 down, put the 4 next to the 5, and I pretend like it's 45. 9 goes into 45 five times. All right, I now know the x value. That's only part of the problem. I still need to solve for y, and then I need to solve for all the angle measurements up here. I could do the exact same thing for y. I could put these two together because they are also a linear pair. And together, this angle plus this angle must make 180 degrees. So if we do that, 3y plus 15 plus 3y minus 15 has to equal 180 degrees. I'll move some of this down. <clears throat> then we can solve. My like parts, I've got a plus negative. 3y and 3y make 6y. 15 and negative 15 cancels each other out. I now have 6y equals 180. Divide by 6. And I have y is equal to 30. Those are not the angle measurements, that's what the value of y is. Now, take the 30 and plug it in here. 3 times 30 is 90, plus the other 15 makes 105 degrees. If I've done this correctly, over here I should also get 105 degrees. 5 times 15 is 75, and 75 plus 30 is 105 degrees, which is good because they are vertical angles. They should be identical. If I take 30 and put it in here, 3y, 3 times 30 is 90, 90 minus 15 is going to give me 75 degrees. If I've done it correctly up above, 4 times 15 is going to give me 60, and 60 plus 15 is 75 degrees. Again, vertical angles are exactly the same. And another way to check and see if I've done this right, what should these two add together to make? 75, oh, I have this wrong, this is... 105, not 150. Sorry about that. So now 75 plus the 105 makes exactly 180 degrees. <clears throat> and if you were to add these two together, what does it make? 180 degrees. If you add these two together, what does it make? 180 degrees. And these two. 180 degrees, because those are all linear pairs. All right? Complementary angles. Complementary angles are any time two angles add together to form exactly 90 degrees. Not 90.1, not 89.7, but exactly 90 degrees. So I've listed, I've put a few up here. And <clears throat> if I were to take these and, and try to bring them over here, put them together, close there. I don't know if that forms 90. Looks to me like that's a little too much. Probably not 90 degrees. So I'll put it back. Maybe this one is good. We'll turn it, match it up, come down here. Does that look a little better? I'd say that's pretty good. Pretty close to being 90, maybe a tad bit too much. So maybe I need to put this one and see over here. Oop, that looks like too little. What about this one? of the 90. Does that look a little better? This one's not exactly lined up. That looks like a pretty good 90 degree angle to me, so I would say those two angles are 90 degrees. I'd say these two are complementary because when they're put together it forms a 90 degree angle. That's what complementary is. This one's not quite. It's not quite 90, it's a little less. Right. Supplementary, very similar concept, the only difference is they have to be 180 degrees. 
And we talked about that when we were looking at the linear pairs. If I take this one here, and I take this one here, and I rotate it around. That's pretty good. I'd say those two are exactly 180 degrees. This one, I don't know. You think it matches up with this? I would say most likely not. That looks like that's a little bit beyond what we're looking for. This one produces a nice straight line, which is right here, 180 degrees. So I, it doesn't matter what the shape of them or the length of the lines. What matters is if the two put together form 180 degrees, a straight line. If they're complementary, they must go together and form a 90 degree angle. All right. Now we have the <clears throat> same thing as far as complementary and supplementary, but one little piece known as the adjacent. If you recall, the adjacent angles share a vertex, share a side, but they have no common interior points. So here we have complementary adjacent angles. They share a vertex, share a side. None of the interior points from this angle are interior points for this angle. So they're complementary, forming a 90 degree angle, and they're adjacent because they share a side and a vertex. These two are also complementary. If I spun it around, it would form a 90 degree angle, but they're two separate angles. They're not sharing a vertex, and they're not sharing a side. This angle here plus this angle here will equal 90. That's why they're complementary, but they're not adjacent complementary angles. And with supplementary, we have the same concept. If you were to take these two and look at them, they are sharing a vertex and a side, no common interior points. They are supplementary because they form a 180 degree angle, and they are adjacent. These two are also supplementary. If you were to take this angle here and add it to this angle here, you would get 180 degrees, but because they're not sharing a vertex or a side, they are non-adjacent.